Okay, so I'm going to go over some balance sequence ideas. So first, have something next to you to hold on to. So I got this just to hold on to it. I got here, just something to hold on to. So if you feel like you're about to lose balance, you got something to regain your balance back so you don't get an injury. So I'll say step one, just for standing wise, have your feet wide apart. So if you can balance like this, that's step one. The wider the base, the more stable you'll be compared to you're going into a narrowed base of support. So step one, just wide base, eyes open. You can hear, feel the ground, proprioception. And then have something to focus on. So like, you can't see it in the video, but I'm focusing on like what's straight ahead of me. So this will be step one. If you want to advance that, now begin doing a narrow stance. So feet together, same thing, focused on looking at something. Eyes open, ear so you can hear, proprioception so you can feel the ground. Now, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult. You have your feet wide, but this time you're going to take your eyes out of the equation. So that'll kind of make it a little bit more less stable stabilization if I could talk so eyes closed and you kind of see like your body like kind of wobbles back and forth so you'll see how I actually do wobble and my feet are wide apart to help with a better stance now with it wobbling you have proprioception which is knowing where your body is in space so like your surrounding like if you have a good proprioception, you could feel, I'm going forward, let me fix that correction. Lean back a little bit so I can get back into balance. If you have poor proprioception, you won't feel your body going forward, and that'll increase your chance of falling forward. So good proprioception, you know, connection to the ground, your nerves, your muscles can feel where they are in space, your surroundings, your connection to the floor. So again, that was a wide base, eyes closed, but to make that more difficult, to advance that, back to your feet being close together, close your eyes, and even quicker than before, you can kind of feel the like shakiness in the legs, your body, and just kind of try to hold it 30 seconds. And again, you want something close to you that you can hold on to. So feet close, eyes closed, hold it for about 30 seconds, and item close to you. So now you want to advance that. With the kind of flooring I have, this is flat, so it's not a difficult like outside how when you're walking in grass you can't you can feel it all potholes and it's a different surrounding so you got to be more aware of where you're walking how you're walking so you don't fall or trip or lose balance so we're going to pretend an outside environment so like less stability so use foam so as you use foam it's softer, so you have to be more in connection with your proprioception, your body. So this being softer compared to a harder floor, you got to really focus on staying in. Let me do that first. So again, you're always wide. So wide on a soft item. So you're more balanced and then feet close together to decrease the balance. And then same thing, you're going to do the eyes closed, and then feet together. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> see already, and unstable environment. Right. I guess you could just say that because it's the foam. So I'm at, and eyes closed, and make sure that you keep that balance. Now, after that, you have a thing called tandem stance. 
So just kind of think of your toes connected to your heels. So you have that kind of stance. So I'll do a side view so you can see it. So how I said it, my toes are kind of connected to my heels. Kind of narrows your base of balance a lot. And you got to stay stabilized. And you might bring your arms up like guarding to keep that balance. But if you got your hands next to your waist, you're good. Just try to keep stabilized. You, you can even see me even swaying back and forth. So it gets more advanced as you go. And then same thing as before. You can do this, make it more advanced. Eyes closed. Oh my god, that's horrible. So yeah, that, you, you see the difference of swaying a lot. Holy gosh. So yeah, that's, that's real. Okay, so eyes closed, tandem stance. And I definitely got to work on that balance. So this is more of the advanced chain. And on flat floor too. So here... Yeah. On foam, yeah, that's, that's there, on foam, and now to make it more advanced as we do, usually the eyes closed, make sure you have something close to you, and keep that balance. Then last that I could think of, flat floor, one foot, other foot, just keep it off the ground a little bit. So if you do happen to lose balance, you can just, boom, put your foot down so you're good. You don't want it too high and you're like, oh, I'm falling backwards and you get injured. So just one foot, contact on the floor. Of the foot, just, a, just an inch off the floor. And kind of stand. Same as usual, something close, just in case you fall. And to make that more advanced, eyes closed. And as usual, to change the atmosphere or environment, a foam item, so it's more wobbly and less stable, so more like cushion to it. So you really gotta focus. So again, eyes open, one foot, other foot, about an inch off the floor, more advanced. Oh my god, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> that's bad. So yeah, <laughs> eyes closed, and definitely make sure you have an item next to you. And you can see my ankle shaking, but you want to work on ankle stability as you age. So keeping your ankles so you don't fall. So, and you can see how I'm actually like trying to keep that support. So that is the sequences from easy balance, wide, feet close, you know, on the floor, and then you got your tandem, and then you're doing all that on the foam, just making sure you have item next to you so you're safe, so you don't get injured, and eyes closed decreases your like stability awareness, so it gives you more of a challenge. That will be it for balancing. So try you know easiest to hardest and find something that gives you a challenge but isn't too challenging. You wanna, you know gradually step up to it. You don't want to go and start off with the hardest one and, you know, get hurt. So just go from easiest to what is challenging for you and then go on from there gradually. So you work on your balance, your proprioception, your stability of your, your joints and limbs, your muscles, proprioception to the floor, your awareness, your surroundings, and that is it. So again, balance, easy to difficult with flat foam, single limb support, and so on. So hopefully this helped you out.